Hey everyone, I'm Morgan. And I'm Paul, we're MTG North, and today we're going to hit double feature. We've only ever opened one box of this on channel, so yeah. some patrons said, hey, we want to open some more of this. And it kind of ties in with our discussion today that we'll be having Dominaria Remastered. Oh. Is uh, now official. It's coming out in January sometime. Uh, there's a big announcement coming up Thursday, we'll be talking about, where they release next year's schedule of products. So we're looking forward to that as well. Anyways... To do this, Invoke Legend is up first with half the box. All right. Well, that will be pretty easy. 12 packs, count them out. A lot of... There is some decent cards in this product. It's going to be, I think, hard to hit them. Eight. Yeah, the, it was the Silver Screen Foils, right? Yeah, but even like the Meat Hook Maskers in here, right? Chandra, Just Go. The old Meat Hook. Toxrel. <clears throat> Cultivator Colossus. There's some good Mythics. Land Cycle, not bad. Let's do it. Ren 7 did not do well. No, did not live up to his predecessor, number six. <laughs> now, this is some interesting stuff. Just being the fact that we didn't um, open very much of it, right? There you go. Lights on. Raise the effigy. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that, to me, doesn't look familiar because I know we opened Midnight Hunt, and, but just it looks different in this set with the black and white art. Some of the borders look good. Some of it... Do not. Do not. Border of Time. Ancient Lumber Knot. <laughs> Ballista Watcher. Oh, the Hostile Hostile. Hostile Hostile. Isn't that uh, Dracula's place? Ooh. Yeah, no, it's not a huge hit, but that was a double mythic pad. That was super cool, <laughs> yeah. All right. It was a good The Hostile start Hostile flips. But, yeah. Into the, it was Count Dracula, Castle Dracula, yeah, right? Great. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the other land from the other set. I'm thinking of Midnight Hunt had Count Dracula. The Creeping in. And that You've is, totally forgot about the creeping in. Is that area. Midnight Hunt? Yeah. Yeah, right. It's the werewolf. That was a while said. ago now, actually. It, was, it feels like a while ago. Persistent Specimen. Sacred Fire. Come on, baby. Show me a good silver screen foil. Slaughter Specialist. Mm. Angie. Angie. And the Gift of Fangs. So, yeah, I guess hitting... Uh, sorry. I guess hitting a... Um, Good silver screen foil is tough to do, right? For sure. Because they didn't filter the set out, right? And they've talked about this. They've admitted their mistakes. Yeah. And I'm hoping that they've corrected all of those mistakes for the upcoming Dominaria Remastered. Like, Time Spiral Remastered was good. It didn't age very well, though, eh? No. The box prices and everything, it did okay. Siphon Insight, Dying to Serve, and the Bounding Wolf for the silver screen foil. Oh, no. Is it just a regular foil, or is that considered a silver screen foil? You know what I mean? Is that some special variant? It just looks like a regular foil. That's what... That was the problem with this set. Yeah. I mean, like, it just... It didn't stand out as much as it should have. Like, the chase cards in Time Spiral Remastered were awesome. Yes. Right? You get a foil ponder. Speaking of that, well, <laughs> Dominaria Remastered, they got a lot... They, there's a lot of choice, Adeline. Overcharged amalgam of where the oh, grafted identity is that John Revolta, face off. Yes, right? it is. That's the basis for the art. I think so. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, they got a lot of choice they can pick from old sets to go back that's to. One of the things a lot of people are guessing at right is which Dominaria sets because that's the original plane in Magic the Gathering. Yep. You don't know, that really Alpha Beta Unlimited was based in. And then tons of sets after that. Uh, the first a whole bunch, right? Fallen Empires, Ice Age, Legends, Willow Geist, Change of Fortune. It's not uh, not the card I think it is. Overwhelmed Archivist. I keep thinking of um, the red card, Warrior's Oath from Double, <laughs> it is Double not Masters. In this set, I'm afraid. That was another tough one to pull in Double Masters, Warrior's Oath. You know what I mean? Along with the Season Pyromancer and the mon uh, the white one. The yeah. White Mythic. But uh, no, back to Dominaria. I hope they knock that out of the park like they did with Time Spiral Remastered, right? Yeah. Groom's Finery. Oh, yes, the Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter. How did I forget Lantern Flare? And a Lightning oh, yeah. Wolf. Lightning Look at wolf. that. <laughs> ow, ow. Whoa! Easy boy. Easy boy. All right. So there'll be lots of Weatherlight stuff, I'm sure. Weatherlight related, right? In the storyline. Yes. Do you think they're going to bring back the Skyship Weatherlight? Yeah, hopefully it doesn't suck like it usually does. How about Yahoria? The like, Captain. The, the Captain, yes. Urza. 
The gang's all going to be oh, there. Oh, the heron of hope. Even in the new Dominary set, eh? They've already said they're reprinting an old Planeswalker? Yeah, oh. is it going to be the hero of Dominary? Oh! Old Stink Fingers. Old Stink <laughs> Fingers. Back. Can you imagine uh, Teffy? An old old Rustin. Back-to-back old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sanctified. Can you imagine if they reprinted Hero of Dominary back to standard? I think that'd be awesome, personally. I think there's already several good control cards in standard right now, so if they yeah. print Teffy again. Yeah. Oh, man. Remember the olden days? Yeah, baby. Oh. I used to play that deck. I Ugh. loved it. Gross. You're going to time. Every time. <laughs> but you're going to win. But you're winning. You're probably winning one game to none. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Magma Pummeler. Oh, Triscodictophilia. <laughs> That's not the one. Edgar oh, did nothing. No. And the Bloodthirsty wow. Adversary for... Is that a silver screen mythic? I think it's just a foil oh, mythic. Okay, just a foil mythic. Well, let's leave it. Like... It's probably, like, not many of those printed because, you know, double feature and all. It was a limited set. Wasn't it only available through an LGS? Like, you couldn't even buy this on Amazon? Or am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember. I remember it had a weird stipulation at the beginning. To try to make it more desirable. Yes. Which failed. It did not work. (laughs) Proves you can't just make any garbage set and people will buy it. No. And that's true. And they took two garbage sets and jammed them together. And then they were like, hey, hey. That Sunstreak Phoenix looks a lot like the Heron of Hope. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Catilda and the Toxic Scorpion. Um, okay. I don't know. Is the Sunstreak Phoenix any good? Nope. Oh. <laughs> There's really only one Phoenix in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> was that the Rekindling Phoenix? Yeah. It was good, and then it fell down. Once it He's still played Pioneer quite a bit. But... Yes. Doesn't hold the same price tags it once did, though, Paul. That is true. Dread Fuge. The Fugue? Oh, there there's, there's one. one. There and Paul. those look cool to me. I like those, yeah. With the double colors. Yeah. Let's put a sleeve on that. Just for... If you play hey. these... The Headless Rider? You like that guy. I don't. I, if you um, played these lands kind of as a one-off, <laughs> with your lighter zombie, but in a commander <laughs> deck or something, they do stand out right? yes. pretty well. Look. And like I said before, I like how, you know, it's got the two colors in the lands and it does both on the frame, so that's neat to me. I like that. Yeah. Really pops, in my opinion. Brimstone Vandal. Hobbling. Oh, the Jack-O-Lantern. So many forgettable things, eh, that are cool. Like the Jack-O-Lantern. Suspicious Stowaway. Hive Heart Shaman. Eh, that was a bad one to get wrecked in the collector boxes. I remember that one. <laughs> yes. Welcoming Vampire for a regular f- silver screen. I don't... All right, all one. the foils just considered silver screen foils. I think so. Thing. I think yeah. so. Because it's not the same as you pulling the foil from the other set. From either set it came from, right? It's a different treatment. And they almost tried to go with, like, silver etched cards, basically. Right? All right, last pack for Invoke. Uh, half decent, a braid. So far, right? Yeah, I mean, you got to hit the good mythics. You do. Otherwise. And we haven't seen a meat hook. Come on, meat hook. Nope. Oh. They were something at the beginning. Yeah. But most of them are. Remember. And a wander, a light a spirit for your fool. Invoke did hit a fair amount of mythics there. Absolutely. All right, up next we got James. Good luck, sir. Four packs for you from the center. Let's do it. Let's do this. It's been a long time since I've seen that Chandra card, to be honest with you. Dress to Kill? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like we opened quite a bit of her. We just were looking forward to Kamigawa so much we kind of forgot about it. E- I think a lot of people did, to be honest with you. This came and went really quick, right? Yeah. Rendering Flame, Rending Flame, Grafted. It's jo- He's back. Travolta's back again. <laughs> Dralf. Garolf. Uh, the border looks cool in blue, though. I do like that blue border. Yes, better than the white. White's yellow. The gluttonous guest. I think the green looks okay, too. But yeah, I guess if you didn't get out and buy this right away and your LGS didn't buy a ton of it, then there wasn't many packs for you to buy, right? It was that kind of set. I think I most remember, LGSs were weary of it, right? Yeah. I remember Greg didn't have a lot of this in the shelf to buy singles yeah. or single packs. Ooh. The Bloodthirsty Adversary. Another one. And a welcoming vampire. And the Gavany Trapper. <laughs> Who doesn't love the Gavany Trapper, Paul? <laughs> it's 
So yeah, stoked for Dominaria remastered, man. Yeah. I think it'll be like they've admitted to their mistakes in this set. And so they, I think it's gonna be good. They learned a lot from Time Spiral remastered. Yeah. More so about what to do? I'm hoping. Is that a swan? A giant swan yes. horse? Yes. Holy crap! <laughs> Rem Corellus, stalwart slayer. Oh, sundown, sundown pass. pass. And the duel for dominance. All right, last pack, James. You hit a land cycle there. That was bad. Land. And a mythic. Bloodthirsty adversary. 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 Yeah, tough, I got her. Hold on. I got that one. Oh no, the silver screen foils. A flip. Oh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I'm considering. Evolving wild. Oh wow. Maybe. Didn't see that a lot. Wow. Wedding invitation. Is that no, there was something else I had to do with the wedding. It was a commander card, remember? Vampire's Vengeance. Unnatural growth. <laughs> yeah, I remember that card. Yeah. Dorethia. Vengeful victim. I don't remember that. And how about a suspicious stowaway for another foil? How about it? Yeah. James. Enjoy your stowaway, buddy. It'll be coming to you. Thanks. Andy is up next. Andy. Before, good luck, Andy. Coming in for four hot packs of the double feature. I really hope we hit a banger mythic here. I want to see a meat hook. I'd rather see I'd rather see a meat hook than a Chandra, but well, I'll yeah, see both. Financially. I mean, either way at this point. Next eight packs, let's go. This one's uh, super sealed, so it's got to have the meat hook in it, Paul. I'll get into it. Use your meat hook. There we go. To unlock that meat hook. I, um, oh, spoiler alert. Oh, no. You did not get a meat hook in the back slot. That's but right. Still two other slots. You do. Good. Well, then they're good. Sorry. They can be good. Lunar Rejection. Patrician Geist. Mm hmm. And a Death Cat Blade. I All like right. that. Yeah. There's your uh, Soul Cipher beard. Oh, bored. <laughs> It'd be so much cooler if it was a Soul Cipher beard and it turned into a spirit. It was just a, a, a giant a, beard. A floating beard. Fu <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we got another, we got what, three of the land cycles so far? Yes, but we need the Haunted Ridge. It's the most valuable, it's the MVP. Oh, it's even better than the Storm Carved Coast. Both fairly close though. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on, Coast. No, come on, Meat Hook. Sigarda? Is that what you're going to say? Champion of the Meat Hook? Nope. But uh, she's a mythic. Another mythic. How about oh, Odric? Odric, oh. How about... God. A foil plummet. I think Odric was the worst card like, that people were so disappointed with. Because <sighs> he was so good yeah, before, right? before that. His first printing. And then they remade him into a steaming pile. Yeah. <laughs> duress. Ooh, yeah. That's a neat duress, eh, with the chains? Yeah. I do like that. Putrefying dragon. Cool name. Lantern of the Lost. The distracting geist. Oh no! Oh, we got needled. This is in this set, I guess. Oh, we got hammered by that in Double Masters. Oh god, I hated getting hammered by it in Double Masters. It brings back like, bad memories. Graf Reaver and the Griff Rider. Oh, I can't believe Pithing Needles in here. Andy, serve at your Andy. left. Congratulations. Pay F to Andy. You got a needle. All right, last pack for Andy, Come man. Let's on. go. Meat hook. Massacre. Me, hook, me, hook. <laughs> hey. Oh, Rockfall Vale, Rockfall Vale. Ascendant Pack Leader. I thought we thought that was a good card, and I wish it was worth more than it was because it's a decent one drop. You can just make it bigger. How about a winged portent? Look at that illustration it's, in that foil. It's just like a flying beard, uh, is what it looks like. You know? You're on the beards today, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, thanks for joining the break, my friend. That just leaves Noah. Finishing out this sweet box of double feature with the Vampires versus Verwolves. Probably the last one we're going to open for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel great, but... It's I'll... only the second one we've ever opened on channel, like I said, so... And if you like if you like the treatment of the cards in the frame, then you like it. I, I like it. I think Enjoy it's pretty it. cool. But probably by singles. Yeah. It's not like they needed to do this. <laughs> Tovalar. S Huntsmaster. Oh, he's not the good one? I don't know if there is a good one anymore. Oh. Oh, it's the flying beard. There's the flying beard is there back it is. again. Oh, that's cleaving, Paul. So you do your beard when you get long, you cleave it first. Mm-hmm. Shipwreck sifters. <laughs> that's an easy word card 
to screw up the name on. Good work not screwing up that name. Thank you. <laughs> All right, come on, Noah. You gotta hit something. It's double feature. We just want a single feature <laughs> yeah, of the meat hook. A single meat hook feature. Okay, Giza, Giza, Giza. Glorious Resurrector, uh, Voldaren Bloodcaster. No, and the Falcon Abomination. Falk. No. No. All right, we still got two chances here, Noah, to hit you a me hook. Field of Ruin, Laid to Rest, Wedding Security, Fateful Absence, Stensia. Oh, no, I remember the that Stensia now. The Stensia Uprising. Ah, uh, the belligerent <laughs> guest. <laughs> yes. Everybody has a belligerent guest from time to time. Yeah. All right, last pack, guys. Last pack. Sub if you're new around here. Drop us a like. Support the channel. We appreciate it. Leave a comment. Duel for Dominance. The Organ Hoarder. Yeah, there's some creepy stuff in here I do not remember. All right, here, here we, we go. go. Come on. Florian. Girl, oh, the giant frog. Florian. Double Florian Double back. Florian. All right, well. Well, we didn't hit the giant bombs this time. No. It is what it is. Uh, coming up, lots of good stuff on channel this week. Double Masters, more of that. Uh, Modern Horizons 2 Collector Box. Yes. Some Zendika Rising member box toppers. They'll be back. And, uh, yeah, lots of Dominaria stuff coming up on channel. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.